Why you let that bitch hit you in the eye at the end of the movie? <laughs> they, they gave me a check, bitch, that's why. It's amazing how well you can take a punch with zeros attached to that motherfucker. But I was proud and happy to do the movie. I was glad when I read the script, because Trix was an unusual type of dancer, you know? This bitch was old, she was fat, but she was not giving up her G-string. I said, I like me some tricks, fuck that. Because she had confidence, ladies, the kind of confidence every woman in here should have. We're supposed to have confidence about ourselves, but we be all fucked up over little bullshit flaws. Is my stomach too big? Do your man like it? And if he don't, it's time to find a motherfucker that like a big belly bitch. That's all. Shit. That's your shit. We gotta quit trying to trip, ladies, about little shit. Cause think about it. I don't give a damn what you what you think wrong with you or how fucked up you think you are. Somebody wants your ugly ass. That's right. The rule is there is somebody for everybody. So if you buck tooth bitch, relax. Chill out, Bucky, baby. Cause somebody want a bunny bitch. I bet you. I bet in this room tonight is somewhere a man that don't want nothing less than a bitch who can bite an apple through a picket fence. I bet ya. <laughs> Just love him a buck too, ho. Oh, yes, he do. We gotta quit tripping. I know what we be doing, ladies. We look at these hoes on TV and in the magazine, and then we try to live up to them. You gotta remember, those entertainers are not real bitches. They're manufactured hoes. You will never live up to them. You read about them all the time. They ain't even made out of the same shit you made out of. These are the kind of bitches go to the hospital for exhaustion and dehydration. You in the real world, you get, you get dehydrated and exhausted, you drink some water and take a fucking nap. That's what you do. Go to no damn hospital. We gotta, we gotta learn how to separate reality from the entertainment and just appreciate entertainment for what it is. Cause we'll take music home with us. And that's fine, but you gotta separate that shit. TLC made no scrubs, we just fucked all up, didn't we, lady? A man on a passenger side couldn't get no action from your ass. You gonna fuck around and miss your man listening to TLC, that's what's gonna happen. How you gonna take love advice from a bitch named Left Eye? You ask that hoe about a contact lens or something, you don't check with her about no relationship. And you know, I ain't tripping on them cause Tia left eye, you know that bitch, it ain't like she got a history of harmony her damn self in a relationship. Ain't that the same bitch burned up her scrubs tub? And that's another thing ladies, you listen to entertainers long enough, they'll tell on themselves. They will contradict what they saying to you. Cause I mean TLC talking that no scrub shit, that's today. Cause they got millions in a record deal. But you remember a few years ago when them hoes was bankrupt, they wasn't too proud to beg, was they? They was creeping and offering up the red light special and shit, wasn't they? Don't let them trick you. Same thing with Destiny Child, little heifers. They ain't talking that shit. I depend on me. I'm like, yo, you don't, bitch. You depend on Beyonce. That's who the fuck you. Better hope that hoe don't get mad this week. They talk that shit, the shoes on my feet, I bought them. Yeah, but a few weeks ago, you hoes was asking the question, can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bill? I was looking at them going, bills? You bitches ain't but 12. Where the fuck y'all get bills? What you hoes, runaways? Go home, bitches. You can't let them bitches fool you. Don't let them trick you, ladies. You look at TV, and I'm tell you something. The only thing they want is for you to buy their product. They don't give a fuck how bad they make you feel and in the process of making you want it. They don't give a fuck how low your self-esteem go. I looked at a Jenny Craig commercial. They use your children now. Lady came on the damn screen all distraught and disillusioned going, I knew it was time to take action because I woke up one morning and my daughter said, Mommy, you're fat. And I knew I had to do something. So I picked up that phone and I called Jenny Craig. 
You know, they flip the screen, you know, bitch come back a few weeks later all happy, talking about, I lost 15 pounds on Jenny Craig and I feel great. I say, this bitch here been sipping on some scissor. Because if it was me, I would have did that commercial and I would have had the same dilemma, but it would have been a whole different attitude. I would have came out and said, I knew it was time to take action. Because I woke up one morning and my daughter said, Mommy, you're fat. And I knew I had to do something. So I picked up that phone and I knocked that little hole down the flight of stairs. That's what I did. I beat her ass like she was a rival gang member. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I beat her ass. She ran. I caught her and beat her some more. I beat her so long I lost 15 pounds and now I feel great. <laughs> the little hoe don't talk smart no more. She getting her motor skills back in her left hand. Shit's going good at my house. Because they will use your kids, little crazy-ass kids, and you know our kids fucked up now, you know that. And I know why. I know what's wrong with our children. Them fucking oodles of noodles, that's what's wrong with them. The goddamn ramen noodles, whatever it is, they call it lunch. But that's some bullshit. All you need is water, take three minutes, cost a dime, a pack, run from that shit. When you was little and eating spam, you wasn't acting a damn fool. Some shit is wrong with them noodles. That's some astronaut food. And now, even the parents, I mean, I hate to look at TV and looking at Sally, Jesse, Raphael, and Maury, and you got people on there just appealing to Sally, talking about help, my teen is out of control. That bitch, you sipping on some scissor. Cause my shit would be different. It'd be like, help, my teen is embedded in the concrete and I can't get this motherfucker back out. Help! My foot is stuck in my teen's ass and I got on new shoes. Help! My teen ain't got no dental plan and I done knocked his fucking teeth out again. <laughs> oh, motherfuckers. I look at that shit and I love it because, you know, I'm a comedian. That's what I'm supposed to do. But I get all caught up in this shit. It make me get passionate. Because I was looking at Sally, Jesse, Raphael, true shit. She had this woman on there crying to her because her 13-year-old wouldn't wear nothing but Tommy Hilfiger. Now, he done told his mammy somewhere along the line, bitch, I ain't wearing nothing if it ain't Tommy Hilfiger. And she up there, his little bastard up there dressed from head to toe in Tommy Hilfiger. He had on the shoes, the watch, the, the drawers, everything. And she over there crying, Sally, I told him there's other children in the home and I'm working two jobs. And I'm going, see, bitch, sipping on scissor. Had that been me and my 13-year-old, same dilemma. He won't wear nothing but Tommy Hill figures, Sally. My 13-year-old would been sitting on national TV butt-fucking-naked, <laughs> wondering why. I'd tell him, call Tommy, he'll figure it out for your little punk ass. <laughs> Crazy bastard. I think it's some, some entertainers that eat them noodles, too, because I've been watching their asses lately, too, going, some of our entertainers eat on some fucking oodles and noodles from time to time. I believe Whitney Houston eat oodles and noodles. But I think she sprinkled a little something something on hers, you know. I ain't trying to confirm the drug rumors or nothing, but she do walk and talk awful fucking fast these days, don't you? You ever notice she, Bobby Chris, Bobby, Bobby Chris, Bobby, Bobby Chris, Bobby Chris, sweating and shit. But what got me really suspicious was when I looked at her ass on national TV proclaim her man, Bobby Brown, the original R&B King. I said, who the fuck is this bitch talking to? Is Bobby Womack in this motherfucker? Cause how you gonna call Bobby Brown the original R&B King? Unless R&B is rocks and blunts, goddammit, I think you got the wrong one. Somebody else I believe is eating them noodles is Erica Badu. Oh, that's a deep sister there, ain't it? I 
love Erica Badu, but you know, some people too goddamn intelligent. You can't catch up with them right away. You know, take me, I'm an average bitch. Take me a little while to understand Erica. See, I like the song Bag Lady, and I appreciate the message, but I didn't catch it at the beginning. I thought she was just fucking with bag ladies, you know? Because that's what it sound like. Sound like she on the bus glad because it's passing the bag lady. You know, singing to a bag lady, you gon' miss your bus. You can't hurry up. You got too much stuff. <laughs> I'm going, now that's fucked up with you, Erica. Why you fucking with the bag lady? You know she ain't got no damn change to catch the bus. And who gonna help her get a grocery card up on the goddamn bus, Erica? If I was the bag lady, I'd write a song and fuck with you right back. I call it rag lady and fuck with that turban on your head. Rag lady, you gonna hurt your neck. Trying to wear them spreads like that. I guess nobody ever told you all those covers go to your bed, your bed, not your head. But I realized the sister wasn't fucking with the bag lady and I appreciate the song, you know. I love Erica Badu, but like I said, she's deep. She's so deep, she'll scare the fuck at you sometimes. I went to see her in person, spooked the shit out of me. I did, cause see, Erica, she, like I said, she one of them intelligent people. You know she loved numbers, you listen to her. She named her son Seven. I'm thinking, what you call him for short, Six? Right now he a baby, so I guess he, hey, Tutu. But I went to see her and it was all dark on the stage. She had candles lit and fur coat on and incense burning. And I got scared. I didn't know if the bitch was going to sing a song or cast a spell. I swear to God, I just, I wouldn't even look directly at her. I said, don't look at her in her eyes. Just peek at her. She might put something on you. We'll let entertainers be crazy, though, won't we? We'll let them be fucked up long as they're giving us what we want. Because you know for yourself, if Erica worked at Ralph's or anywhere else, you be pushing your cart going, the bitch in aisle six is crazy than a motherfucker. Go peek at her. I like to fuck with entertainers too. I, I really like to get rappers because they're always coming up with these names and shit. You know, and some of them don't live up to their name. Some of them do, but they come up with these funny names. You know, like Big Pun was a big guy. He lived up to his name. You know, Lil' Kim is just a little bitch. She lives up to her name. Foxy Brown, she just brown. Oh, I seen the little hoe up close. Television is kind to that bitch, let me tell you. How you gonna take a name that Pam Greer wore so well and fuck it up like that? I was looking at her sideways, left and right. I ain't found Foxy on that hoe yet. She young and she got a lot of acne, you know, a lot of bumps. The bitch look like a pickle, I'm telling you now. I got kind of mad. Shit, she gonna pick Foxy Brown. You can't live up to that name. I'm looking at her ass thinking if you Foxy Brown, bitch, old Foxy needs some oxy. Get you some tin in your life. And fellas, I know y'all love her because she got the ill na-na. But y'all better quit fucking with that ill na-na. Y'all gonna get a sicky dicky. You heard her when she came back talking about hot spot, hot spot, uh-huh, it's called burning, bitch. Couple of shots in the ass, ought to clear that right on up for you, Foxy Boo. And thinking of that, fellas, why is it now all the young rappers and singers want to go in the strip club? That's all they do now. Go take their money and spend it on the girls in the strip club. And that's fine, but they get me mad because they want to marry these bitches. That's what makes, like Montel Williams. How you going to marry a stripper bitch? Now he talking about she a gold digger. Well, when you saw her do the tricks with the beads, that wasn't a clue, motherfucker. You know, that shit is for fun. Them ain't the hoes you're supposed to marry. Meanwhile, the woman that's stuck by your ass sitting at home mad than a motherfucker. She done stretched a bag of beans for your broke ass when you didn't have shit. You gonna marry the bitch with the pearls coming out of her asshole. And that ain't the worst part. What make me mad is the young guys, they sing songs and they always talking about how they pimps and players. You ain't a pimp and player when you buy coochie. Use a trick. Get the shit together now. 
Fellas, sometimes it's a clue in your girlfriend to let you know which side of the game you live on. There's certain things you can tell. Like if your girl, if every time you go see your girl, you got to get changed, have singles, you're probably a trick. 